Yeah. You know, technically, I'm not even really supposed to be here right now. So fuck it. Might as well make the most of it. What's up, guys? Lou here from TSA. I just wanted to uh, show you guys a cool, pretty cool, innovative trick that you could do if you're kind of on a budget, still like to train hard and aggressive, and uh, want to get some serious training in, and um, just don't have the dough to be spending on top, top, overpriced equipment, to be honest. There's a lot of shit out there that's just overpriced. But I wanted to talk to you about, like, uh, sandbags. Excellent tool to be using for uh, full body movements, full body power movements, strength movements, uh, you know, every, every pulling, pushing, uh, carrying, every which way and direction. But one of the things is uh, some sandbags, you need the bag uh, itself, and then you need a filler or whatever you're going to fill it with. Uh, it could cost you a couple bucks. Like, I, I've shopped around. I got a lot of... Uh, pretty much uh, the same prices all over the place for these style bags. Um, and then you need the filler also, whatever you're gonna fill it with. Um, so I'll give you, I'll give you, show you guys here what's going on. I just went on a pretty common website that has some pretty, very good quality equipment. Um, nothing wrong with it, just the, uh, see so you have your big ones all the way to your small. And uh, I don't know if you guys could see that, it may be blurry, I don't know yet. Um, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. If you can't see that well, it says the small sandbag, the smallest one there, the bag itself is $45. The small filler, uh, I don't know if you see that, the filler 15, um, is $25. So you're already spending, you're already spending 70 bucks and that's pretty much the cheapest one that they got for a sandbag. Um, I'll show you how to make that for probably, that $70, a quarter of that price, easily. Um, you just gotta go out, get it yourself, but you're gonna save some dough and you still have this uh, top-notch quality equipment. All right, see you guys soon. So let's get into how cheaply uh, you could make a bag just sufficiently, just like that. Um, and you guys saw the cost of that. A small bag would basically cost you um, $70. Uh, I'll show you what I did. And you could pretty much, uh, if there's any kind of army, navy store, usually they're kind of like every town, um, some, somewhat. Um, you could pick these up, these bigger bags, I paid 16 bucks for. $16, I have this one, uh, and I'll, I'll even show you what I filled it with. Um, 16 bucks for that, as opposed to the 45. And these guys are 50 pound uh, bags that you use uh, in the back of, uh, you know, like people put them in the back of trucks so they put some weight on their truck. It was uh, $3.50. So compare that to that, you're talking about a $20 bag. Um, I bought a bunch of them at the time. Um, and then what else I do is I take old, I mean, old clothes that I don't really care about or I was gonna donate anyway or something, a sweater, and I, I kind of fill in the rest so it has a type of cushiony type substance so it's not really hitting you too hard. So for 20 bucks, I mean, right here I have, I put, I believe I put one bag in there and then I threw in a, a little sandbag but I had a 20 pound. So I made a 70 pound sandbag for 20 bucks. This one is a little bit of a beast. I put three of those in there so it's a 150 pound sandbag. I still have to get some other sweaters and shirts. Uh, you'd probably just use that for heavy shouldering and uh, heavy carries, some uh, heavier squats, zercher squats, whatnot. Uh, but obviously you need uh, all different ones. Different sizes, obviously I trained some bigger guys, adults. Also, they like to, to mess around with these. A lot of the kids, obviously I have some lighter ones as big. These were $10 a bag. And all I did, uh, open it up here, is fill these with rubber mulch. Rubber mulch you could get for $5 for 25 pounds at Home Depot. Something that's pretty indestructible. Uh, you know, I, I can make it fancier, but really what, why? That's probably about a 20 pound bag. And you're talking about, you know, I, that, that's, that, I spent six bucks for 25 pounds. You're talking about an $11 bag there, I guess, something like that. So like I said, these are relatively cheaper items um, that are still valuable tools that you could add to your arsenal. And you train the real rugged and aggressive way. You work with a 70 pound sandbag, it's a lot different than a 70 pound med ball or 70 pound dumbbell or 70 pound kettlebell in a sense. The load is different, it's dispersed. The power movements that you could do kind of Especially in the combative sports, it kind of mimics the body in a sense, since it's kind of obviously it's not moving or trying to flail away from you. Um, but you understand what I'm saying there? It's a bit different load, a bit different animal. 
Uh, so let's just show, let me go over what certain things you can do. Now you've made a $20 bag, how the hell do you use it? All right guys, so like I said, 70 pound bag. It's a bit different animal than a regular bag. One of the, some of the best things you can do is think of all the different movements that you can do with dumbbells and kettlebells and barbells and whatnot. Um, one of the best things that I like to do with this is kind of just a deadlifting position and literally just lift up, for up right side, throw it back down. You can be, I want people to be uh, really aggressive with it. So we get in that deadlift position, we can rip up, right to the shoulder, shoulder it, any way direction. You can add some, add some flair to it if you wanted to say uh, shoulder and step back at the same time. You know, you get a little bit, make, make it more of a full body exercise. Second thing we can do is cleans. It's a little bit different when you have to grip and grab the bag. You'll feel your hands really screaming out of something, especially the forearms, especially the grip. So you can rip up, literally press that right over the head. You can hit a bag as amount of presses, you can push press, whatever. You can hit cleans. Cleans is, you know, I love obviously here, catch, search your squat, squat right in front of you. It's pretty indestructible, which is what I love about it. Just drop it. You don't have to uh, get too crazy with it. Lunges in each different position, each different uh, angle there, various squat jumps. 70 pounds might be kind of light for a bigger guy, 200 pound man to carry, but you start working with a 150. I have a heavier one that's about 200 pounds. Start carrying that for distance, see how you feel. It's a whole different animal. This is some of the things you can do. You can get into Turkish get ups off the ground, do all type of explosive work. What I like about it also, you can do all various throws. And it's something that, like I said, this cost me 20 bucks to make. It's really not rocket science to put it together. So that's something that you guys can use on your own. Train aggressive, train hard. And a versatile tool that you can take with you. Pretty much, a you know, $20 investment could go very far. Easily, easily. If I wanted to open that thing back up, add more weight, take, take weight out, whatever. Doesn't matter. You could easily make a couple of these, uh, say something like a 50, 70, 100, and now you have three. You spent 60 bucks. Not even the price of what you would have spent for one. So again, go find a bag. It should cost you about 20 bucks, Army Navy store, something like that. I'm sure you can even find them online. Uh, these are big Navy double bags, I guess. Um, cost me 20 bucks. Find something to fill it with. I recommend using those filler bags. Those bags in themselves, which I, what, I, what I put in here, do not break, or you know, it's kind of material they're made of. It doesn't shear, it doesn't break. So it's pretty indestructible. Cost you another, what, three, four, five dollars maybe? That was a 50, I could have gotten a 70 pound bag. That was like five and change. But I decided just to make it easy, get 50 pound bags. Like I said, this is an awesome tool for you guys to use. All you combative athletes, all you guys, power athletes, football, track, uh, any, every sport involves power and speed, but this is some of the stuff that you could and should be doing. This is Lou from TSA. Until later.